Hey guys, this is IXRollerX with Rollout Reviews, and I figured, since this is pretty much a beat -em on channel, I should probably do more than just reviews. I noticed that in a lot of my videos, I say that the beat -em on is good or performs well in a certain aspect, uh, but I never really test them. I never really compare them to others. And, um, well, I think I should start doing that more. Um, so I'm kind of doing a test here for power and control, pretty much. The main reason I'm doing this video is uh, I just kind of want to showcase Assault Dragoran more. Um, this guy is my favorite beat -em on out of Crossfight and ES, by far. Um, I never really said that in his review, but I'm saying it now. This guy, so far, is my favorite beat -em on in the entire series. But I just kind of want to showcase him in this. We're going to be doing um, seven sort of trials here, because we're going to be testing seven beat -em on either control or power type out of the ones that I have. Um, and then we're going to be uh, doing this guy. But we're going to start out with Drassian because in Crossfight, uh, he's a good control. Uh, not control type, but he's a, he's a good thing to base our other results off of. Um, because he's just a good, solid power type. He's kind of accurate. We don't need rapid fire at all for this test, so uh, we're not going to be getting into that. But... Let's just get started. I have a little piece of tape here. You cannot see it at all in the video, um, but it's just so I know where to put the puck every time, so our results are sort of regulated. Um, but let's start this off by uh, taking some shots with Drassian. We're going to do three shots for each of these guys, um, and the best shot of those will be the result for them. So let's get started. I'm going to be back here, so if you do have trouble hearing me, uh, then that's the reason. So, uh, let's take our first three shots with Drassian. First shot. Now, this test can be sort of a dud every once in a while. This puck sometimes just doesn't like to move. Sometimes the shot will be so powerful that it'll just hit this, not move at all, bounce up, and just go past it, which is kind of funny, but um, yeah, that's why we're not going to be using any uh, tune-up gear with this. We're not going to be using any of the uh, power arms like the cannon arm and the magnum arm uh, because they're almost just too powerful and we're just kind of testing these beat -em on right out of the box. So here's the second shot with Drassian. That's exactly what I was talking about, actually. It just launches right over the puck. And a eh, third shot, a little bit better. <laughs> so that's sort of our control. Not the best results with him, but we're going to move on. Now let's go to, well, uh, let's try all the power types first. So let's use this guy, uh, Drive Guard Over. Now he's, he's obviously power control or not control, but power uh, rapid fire, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but, you know, he's still power type, and he's got the emblem charge. With all of the beat -em on here that have emblem charge, I'm going to be using that. So, emblem charge. Not bad, not bad. Second attempt, let's see if we can do better. A little bit, actually, a little bit better. And third attempt. Actually, you know, that was a gradual improvement. So this guy uh, did do a little bit better than Drassian. I think just because Drassian is, is uh, I guess, so much more powerful um, sometimes that he really doesn't know what to do with it and he goes a little overboard. But uh, let's do Rising Drassian now. So first I'm going to do it just with the first emblem charge, um, and then we will uh, do the second emblem charge along with it, because I find the second emblem charge uh, sometimes just doesn't work, makes the shot less powerful, um, but we'll see if we get lucky here. So first shot, just one emblem charge, 
Not bad. All right. Now let's do second um, shot with the double emblem charge. So, yeah. And that happens. The second emblem charge raises this bottom piece, so it sometimes shoots the bidama over the target. I'm gonna move it just a little bit forward, see if that helps for this third shot. Um, so, double emblem charge. I'll do another shot if this, if this uh, doesn't hit again, but uh, yeah, it did. Again, like I said, the, the double emblem charge is really kind of hard to master. Um, sometimes it just doesn't work, but whatever. Let's actually just do one last shot just with the normal one emblem charge. And there you go. So, still, Drive Garu Burn has done a bit better, um, uh, for whatever reason. But, let's continue on. Uh, again, um, well, I, not again, I haven't really said it, but this is a, uh, a battle beat -em on tool. Um, I know it's not really supposed to be used with cross-fight um, in tournament regulation, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, whatever. We work with what we have. I'm actually using just a shelf here, like a, um, a shelf that you hang on the wall. And uh, I just set it on its on the floor here, and it, it works just fine. Um, but yeah, let's go on to Smash Dragon Gold in Power Mode. This will be interesting. So again, three shots. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Quite long, I assume. But first shot, eh? It's okay. Uh, second shot, here, room for improvement, wow, yeah, that is, uh, the best shot so far, I think, um, very nice, third shot, let's see if we can get e even more than that, no, well, you know what, that second shot was a good one, so I am satisfied with that. Now, let's move on to some control types. We're gonna do just the normal old Dragrin, uh, Force Dragrin. So, here we go. Don't expect this to do all that well. He's not that powerful, but we'll just see. Uh, I wanted to do this guy just because, uh, mainly, like I said, I wanted to show off Assault Dragrin. Um, so I'm just doing the normal Dragon to compare it, I guess. But, uh, yeah, you know, a decent shot. Again, like I said, some of the power shots that these guys have really don't know where to go with this because they just, uh, they're just, all of the momentum is lost immediately when they hit the puck. So, eh, whatever. Let's do a second shot here. That actually had a lot of oomph to it. Um, Still not as good as uh, Dragold here. We're not doing a full lineup. We're just trying to figure out which one is the best out of just these tests. So let's do a third shot with this guy. And uh, yeah, pretty good. This guy is surprisingly actually uh, very nice just because he's not too powerful. Um, he doesn't have enough power to just launch right over the puck without even putting any of that force into the shot. Um, but he is powerful enough to get it going. And now we're going to do a Kreis Raidra, or Kreis Raidra, or whichever uh, you want to call this guy. Again, we're doing Emblem Charge here. So, here we go. First shot. I think we might have a, a, a winner so far. Um, again... Dragon's up next, but that was a pretty powerful shot. His emblem charge is is really good. Um, so, a second shot. See if we can actually top that. We might have almost went off screen. Yeah, this guy's doing very well. Third, final shot. Not as well, but. 
that is the, the taker so far. Seems control is sort of the best for this game. Not because it's uh, accurately hitting where it is, just because uh, they have a lot of power, but they know, they, they well, decent power, uh, but they, the most important thing is that they know where to put it. And uh, the dragons, um, uh, I mean, the power types, when I say dragons, I mean Jurassian, um, they just have too much power to work with. So finally we're going to get to Assault Dragon, and for the first shot here, the first shots, I might do two trials with this, um, I'm not going to use the Emblem Charge at all. Hopefully this doesn't backfire and he does just absolutely terrible in this trial, because this whole video would be uh, worth nothing if that happened. So, uh, we're just gonna do uh, shots until this guy does well, because uh, he might be a little camera shy. Anyway, this is a no emblem charge shot. We're doing a couple tests. No emblem charge. It did alright. Again, a uh, little camera shy, but um, whew, yep, it, it blew right over the puck, just like a power type would. And we're gonna do a third shot just to prove a point. Does the same thing again. Let's move the puck a little bit forward and do three more shots. Almost went to the end of the screen. Mind you guys, no emblem charge. Second shot. Off the screen. No emblem charge at all. Mind you, with, with Chris Raidra, to get to here, we had to use the emblem charge to its full capacity. This guy's not using the emblem charge at all, and he got it off the screen. All right, let's do a third test here. Well, I guess a sixth test. Again, I said I wanted to shoot this guy until I got a good result. Um, but I have I've done a lot of tests like this, not on camera, um, and Chris Rager can't get anywhere near that. I haven't got him to at least. Right over, okay, and again, right over the puck. Good, perfect, beautiful. Anyway, now let's take it to a new level and use the emblem charge. See where we get with that. Um, could lead to places we don't want to go, like losing Bidamaville. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I just talk. Let's actually put this down just for effect. It doesn't actually do anything. Um, all right. Again, let's move this forward a little bit because I think it does help to move it forward just a tad. Um, it's like moving forward this much, just so that the B Dama doesn't fly over the top when it hits it. Because what the B Dama will do is it'll just hit the puck and bounce and fly right over it without putting any of the momentum into pushing it, unfortunately. But one or three final shots here with Dragon. Assault Dragon's Emblem Charge. Okay, right over the beat, uh, right over the the puck here. But uh, again, pretty good. Problem is mostly that uh, well, the Emblem Charge again just gives it almost too much power, and it doesn't know what to do with it. Second. Second charge. Um, that actually, that actually uh, fell off the board. If I'll, I'll just show you that really quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this this guy's pretty crazy. We'll do a third shot just to again see the consistency. Um, if he continues to do this well. All right. Third and final shot for this guy. 
And again, it goes off screen. Assault Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. That's why this guy is my favorite beat em on. Um, he's control type. He is far more powerful and more consistent, and he's got the added accuracy uh, than any power type. Not to mention um, accuracy. He also has this sniper mode, uh, which, if you know, you're thinking he almost has the same exact core as as Chris Raidra here. Chris Raidra doesn't have this sniper mode. Um, which adds a lot to accuracy, as you can see. He also has this horn for uh, for accuracy, which he really doesn't have, and this little sight that Raidra has is just kind of useless. Highly recommend this beat -em on This guy is my favorite beat -em on out of, out of ES, or out of Crossfight at all. Um, not to mention, I just love his character from the show, uh, the, the, his user's character, and, and Dragon himself is, is pretty cool as well. Anyway, just a quick test here. We're coming on 16 minutes, but I think it was worth it. Wanted to prove a point. Didn't really say all I wanted to in uh, Dragon's review itself, but uh, I got to say it here. So if you stuck around for this video, that's great. Um, and this is Ixtral Axe signing off.